Hello, my name is Natasha Trapp. You may know me as Tashers in the forums. Today I'm going to share a quick and easy holiday card. Now, I really wanted to use a blended background, but I wasn't really keen on using traditional holiday colors, so I thought why not change it up? So when it comes to Paper Tray Inks colors, I try not to choose favorites, but Hawaiian Shores is pretty much one of my main go-to colors. So I thought why not use that color family? So for the card I'm going to be using Pine Feather, Tropical Teal, of course, Hawaiian Shores, and Aqua Mist. So for the blended background, um, I usually like to have four of these little blender handles all ready to go with the corresponding sponges. I find that's usually all I need and then I don't have to, you know, get my hands dirty taking the sponges off and on and whatnot. So I'm going to get my white cardstock here and start blending. I like to start with the darkest color first, so I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that in action. So I'm starting with the pine feather. As you can see, it blends super easily. And then I'm moving on to Tropical Teal and then Hawaiian Shores. And lastly, Aqua Mist. The paper tray inks really blend quite nicely. For the stamping, I'm using snowflakes from the set Peace Be Still. These are some of my favorite snowflakes. I don't want the background to get too busy though, so I just chose two. They're actually the same design, just a small one and a large one. I'm also only going to use three of the inks that I blended with the darkest three. So I'm just doing a few of the large stamps and then I'm filling in the spaces with the small stamps. And then next up, this is where I like to say the magic happens. So you start with some fresh snow and you just stamp all over. And as everything dries, it all softens and looks just totally awesome. All right, now for the rest of the card, I've got the word peace from the wonderful words holiday die collection cut out i did that three times and layered it just to give it some nice dimension and then i've got an aqua mist cardstock strip for the rest of the sentiment that comes from the uh, wet paint holiday set and i stamped that in pine feather and then i just put that all together and then the entire card is just on a nice white card base so there you have it a beautifully blended holiday card i hope i've inspired you to give it a try uh, this technique is really quite versatile uh, if you just change up the colors. I mean, if you choose an autumn color palette, maybe add some leaves from leaf prints, you can have a beautiful thank you card. Um, you could do, you know, red and pink colors and maybe some hearts from the Happy Hearts set for a beautiful Valentine. Or maybe even a rainbow blended background and some balloons from the Scenic Celebration set and you can have a wonderful birthday card. The possibilities are endless. So I hope I've inspired you to give it a try. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.